Thank you. <laughs> so it's been a year that's gone very quickly. Yeah, I'm heading back to Australia in uh, less than two weeks and uh, I've got a job as a staff specialist at a large intensive care unit in Brisbane in Australia, uh, which is nice and hot. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to heading back there. Here's what yeah. we've done. Just little pieces of memories, okay? Yeah. So usually we try to give you a piece of fine reading yes. so that you can remember Canada. <laughs> Personally, uh, it's been challenging, you know, living in a different country and, and being away from family at different times of the year. So that's a challenge, but I think there's such a good group of fellows here and a good community amongst uh, ourselves that we all feel that's home uh, a little bit, uh, which makes the transition a little bit easier. Have you got the connection? Thanks. Actually working in a different country gives you some great perspective about cultural differences and cultural norms and what's really important about that from a medical point of view is it makes you question what you think is normal. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, I've seen a lot of different patients, um, I feel uh, more mature as a uh, physician um, having seen so many extra cases. We took two litres off yesterday and even with that he's no better so I think it's probably... If unsure, ask for help I think is the most important thing because um, even if you're the best practitioner in the world, you're coming from a different system and you need to learn that system. If you're coming here as an international fellow, I think you need to be uh, open-minded. I think, importantly, you've got to be really willing to create uh, a social network because it's a very difficult job and I think if you just come here and just do the work and focus solely on work, although you'll learn a lot of medicine and you'll um, become a better doctor, you won't get as much out of the experience. Right, thank you. Oh, look at that, you're too good. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Although I'll have great fond memories of Sunnybrook Hospital and all my colleagues here, I'll also have fond memories of just Canada and Toronto and um, holidays and, <laughs> and the minus 30 degree temperatures. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to my first, you know, consultant job. And I'm sure it'll be a challenge, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it and feel that I'm prepared. Well, we, uh, it's just been fantastic having you. And uh, as a sign of what you've done, what you've completed, uh, and also hopefully something you'll, you'll be able to keep and remember us by uh, just a certificate uh, from Sunnybrook and the University of Toronto saying you've completed the Sunnybrook Fellowship, signed by Shelley and Cam and myself, as a thank you to you and a recognition of what you've achieved. So well, well done. It looks great. Thank you very much. Thanks, Brian. Absolutely. Well, well had a great time. Yeah, yeah it's been it's an absolute been pleasure. So hopefully you'll find somewhere you can stick that up as, a, as evidence of what you've done. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome.